Let me begin by saying that I really enjoyed director Siddharth Anand's last two films. Siddharth is Hindi cinema's reigning guru of the action entertainer. In both War and Pathan, he found that sweet spot between serious, sexy, and silly. He championed an inclusive, palatable patriotism, but also constructed whistle-worthy fan service for the superstars he worked with. You recall Rithik Roshan's helicopter entry in War, in which even his colleagues, which includes Tiger Shroff's Khalid and Ashutosh Rana's Colonel Luthra, are crushing on the sheer Greek godness of Kabir. Or that moment in Pathan, when Shah Rukh Khan's bloodied and bruised face comes into the light, it's the first time we see him, and he declares, Zinda hai. KGF director Prashant Neel labels this genre anti-gravity cinema, meaning the film doesn't adhere to the laws of physics. It's really tough to pull off, and Siddharth has done it with Panache. In Fighter, he sets up a harder task for himself by injecting his usually fantastical material with shots of reality. The 2019 Pulwama attack is a key plot point. He and co-writer Ramon Chib also take inspiration from the Bible for all fighter pilot movies, Top Gun, and its sequel, Top Gun Maverick. Like Tom Cruise's Maverick, Rithik's squadron leader Shamsher Pathania is a daredevil pilot, the best of the best. At one point in Fighter, Patty, that's his call sign, also becomes an instructor like Maverick does in the second film. The first star of Fighter has several scenes of the newly assembled Air Dragons team bonding. We get a camping trip, meals, bonfires, singing sessions, Shero Shairi, but none of it matches that effortless camaraderie and sexiness of the shirtless football match on the beach in Top Gun Maverick. However, there's a telling difference between the two films. In Top Gun Maverick, when a superior tells Maverick, your reputation precedes you and Maverick says thank you, the superior replies, it wasn't a compliment. Here, the exact same scene transpires, but without the mischief or humor. Fighter is mostly deadly serious, especially about its patriotism. War and Pathan were also films about soldiers who will not hesitate to lay down their life for India. In one scene in War, Kabir says, Mera rishta sirf mere desh se hai nena, main India ka soldier ho, bas, aur kuch nahi. When Pathan is asked if he's Muslim, he says, I do not know what I am, all I know is that my country raised me. But with Fighter, Siddharth adopts a shriller tonality. In Top Gun Maverick, the enemy is never named. We're only told that the pilots are up against a rogue state and the target is a uranium enrichment plant which violates a NATO treaty. This doesn't reduce the thrill of the climactic battle. It's tense, dramatic, and when Maverick saves the day and saves his relationship with his foster son Rooster, we cheer and tear. Siddharth chooses to go in the opposite direction. Fighter names and shames Pakistan. The top brass of the Pakistani army is portrayed as a gathering of ineffectual buffoons, and the apex enemy is a terrorist named Azhar Akhtar, who for reasons never explained, has one glowering red eye. In one scene, when he says Allah Hafiz to a suicide bomber, we get a close-up of this eye, just to underline that this is a monster. But just in case you still don't get how evil he is, Azhar gets to monologue about the things he did to an Indian soldier, including cutting his tongue off. Siddharth has never been one for subtlety, but this insistent, high decibel nationalism ultimately damages his storytelling. The dialogue by Hussein Dalal and Abbas Dalal veers into preposterous, including one line about IOP or India Occupied Pakistan. But the fatal flaw is the screenplay also by Ramon, which begins on a show-footed note with the character introductions and building up the group dynamics, but then buckles under the weight of the many threads it must weave together. There are backstories for Patty and Deepika Padukone's Mini, the backstory for the friction between Patty and his superior Rocky, played by Anil Kapoor, Patty's existential crisis, and the hesitant romance between Patty and Mini. This is the best part of the film. Deepika and Rithik, two of our most alluring stars, are also such capable actors that they imbue weight into the few scenes that they have together. There's also a running track which pushes via Mini for women to soar as high as men. But the resolution of Mini's story, which involves a patty monologue, feels like it was tacked on from some other movie. And Siddharth isn't able to create that one stellar moment for Mini in the climax, like he did for Rubai with that Gatling gun in Pathan. 
The writing also falters with Azhar, played by Rishabh Sahani. One character says about him with admiration, Barood ko usse behtar koi nahi samajhta. And Azhar likes to say lines like, Hindustan ki zameen hum unhi ke khoon se barbaad karenge. But all this posturing and that red eye isn't enough to make him a worthy opponent. Azhar doesn't create the required dread. The character is so underwritten that it's hard to tell if Rishab can act or can't act. The other baddie is a Pakistani Air Force pilot whose call sign is Red Nose. Of course, Red Nose wears surma and has a facial scar. There's also Anil Kapoor who looks fabulously fit, but I wish he had more to do than growl dialogues like, let's get them patty. And Karan Singh Grover and Akshay Obroy playing the token good Indian Muslim. Patty, of course, is a thing of beauty. Siddharth has never been shy about using Hrithik's physical presence. So the camera fetishizes his body as it fetishizes the planes. Patty can reduce women to putty merely by saying please. Hrithik's glorious green eyes are put to good use, especially in the cockpit scenes. However, this is material that Hrithik can pull off even with those eyes closed. But he also strains to give Patty complexity and angst. There is a lovely moment in which he asks another character if she will be able to trust him again. There's so much vulnerability in his expression, his voice. But these moments are fleeting and they get flattened out by the sledgehammer storytelling. Obviously, Fighter can't match the aerial cinematography of Top Gun Maverick. Tom Cruise himself is a licensed pilot. And the other actors went through a three-month flight course so that many of the sequences could be in camera and not green screen. The director, Joseph Kozinski, spent 15 months working with the US Navy to install six cameras in the cockpits of the F-18 planes. That is a tough act to follow. There are backdrops in Fighter that look obviously green screen, but the visuals, the DOP is such at Polos, and the visual effects have been done by Redefine and DNEG aren't the fault line, the writing is. Because without the required emotional foundation, all those planes doing acrobatics in the sky becomes a slog. Fighter is high on dazzle, but ultimately little sticks. The film feels hollow. You can watch Fighter at a theatre near you. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Reviews and More.